Another terrific night of hockey here. Eddie Olchek is alongside. You'll hear from Ray Ferraro in a moment. I'm Mike Emery. It's a new year and a good time to celebrate the year and a game of hockey. This one is coming up. So, Eddie, your observations before we start. Well, we have two teams that are intense, Doc, and they don't like each other very much, so stay tuned. I expect some fireworks here tonight. Opening faceoff is upon us, and Bobby Ryan is in the starting lineup. All rookie in the AHL and NHL, four straight 30 goal seasons. Month one, day one, faceoff one, and we're underway. Chicago's coming off a loss. In order to find success, they're going to need to get back to the basics. Turned away with a stick. Back to the point. They've got all the gunners out. Slides it to Ryan. Picked up by the defense. A superb hit. A great hockey play there. Seabrook's the type of player that responds to this type of game. It's going to be aggressive from start to finish, and his team wants to have the upper hand. Pitching it to Ryan, and that one's chopped in half by Zebra. Stood him right up. That puck's loose, deflected away by Duncan Keith. Good work along the boards. Gathered up again by Zebra. Chicago's up the wing, setting things up. Slides it to the point. Stood up all the way and blocked it. One calendar has been replaced with another, but we haven't made any changes at all. We've got Ray Ferraro ice side, and that's good. One of the keys to this contest is going to be who can attack the other defense with more speed. Both defenses can get into trouble when they get challenged by outside speed. Okay, Ray, thank you. Skill play by Larson. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Good defensive read with that one. That one is pointed to him. Nudged along by the skate. Fantastic poke check by Suster. Good place to shoot from, and he does. The Blackhawks have it along the side at mid ice. Here it comes. He scores. A new year and something new. A beautiful goal. Front and to chase the game. There's the game's first goal. That is the first goal scored after a lot of work. Great start. They were ready to play, and it shows on the shot clock as well. The Hawks control from the neutral zone. Mathot hooked on the play. There will be a penalty. The Blackhawks get their goalie to the bench for the extra man. Puts one on. Great save. The Whalers guilty of a minor penalty for using the stick blade. Just a hook. This was okay about 10 years ago. Not anymore. That's a hooking call. Chicago's special teams will have their first chance of the game. This is a great opportunity for them on their first power play. Get the puck to the point, get it to the net. Score! The power play cashes in. Taves gave the goaltender no time to react with that quick snapshot. He barely got a piece of that. Close to being in the right position, but he can't shut down the shot. Over nine minutes played in the first. The Blackhawks with the lead, 2-0. Chicago's won that faceoff. They have it. The Blackhawks controlling play now in their own end. Now it's directed to Kane. Time of the goal. Nine minutes. Scooped up by Felino. Chip to Larson. On to Chaput. Shoot. The lane was jammed and it hit somebody. Say. Had it away with authority. 
He can start some danger here. Directing that one to Pitlin. The Whalers lug the puck through the neutral zone. And he dumps it in. Passing one off now to Kane. Snapping a pass to Saad. Slid to Taves. Wonderful save. That puck exits the zone, so play has to reset. Smart recovery by Keith. The Hawks carrying on in the defensive zone. Trying to go to Taves. If he can find the back of the net here, he'll hit a great milestone. Down. Score! Wait, no goal! No goal! Chicago's not going to like this goal, but really, when you take a look at the replay, that's goal. The Blackhawks got that face-off win. Now what? Nice work by Eves. Crosses that line. Lots on that to Dumoulin. What a hit that was! I really like the effort that he's trying there to generate a turnover by finishing this check. It's dumped in. Freezes play for the whistle. Well, this shift had to seem like an extra minute for him. He was banged up earlier on it. Still gets out to block the shot. Critical win of the draw. Tried, but it didn't work. And moved down to camp. Moving it to Gustafson. Steals it in the attacking zone. Nearing the final minute of play. Last minute of play. In the that went off someone loose puck. Looking to camp. To the last 22. Pressure now. Puck is thrown to camp. Fires a shot. A brilliant save at the horn. First period has been played. An interesting start to all of this. Continuation in just a moment. The Blackhawks have a 2-0 advantage. Do you know someone in your community who goes the extra mile to help out? Nominations for our key player awards are available in the concourse in the lower... Taves, level. Marker made this a two-goal lead for his team. Pretty good, wasn't it? As we go to intermission. Second period about to begin here. Let's take a look back at the first. What impressed you most? The Whalers know they can't keep defending. They're trailing here, and they'll need more time on the attack to get the lead. Period two has begun. Let's see what happens here. Great job in his own end with that interception. Around through the corner right now. Laid on to Vlasic. Cranks a shot and a save. And he holds on and stops playing. Puck dropped and the winger stepped in to help. That's big. Sends to the point. What a ripper from the point! Save there. Hartford's in the neutral zone along the wing. And angled to Vlasic. Move to the shadow of the boards by Saw. Shoots one. A strong pad stop there. The Whalers skated up on the side. The stick can break up a play and it just did. Whistle is blown, penalty called, and the penalty box door swings open. 
Hartford's got two on this one for tripping. This is an easy call for the official, Doc. The player made no attempt to play the puck and just tripped up the attacking player. The Hawks get another opportunity on the power play. They have connected once already. They've already had some success on the power play with a power play goal earlier in the game. They don't have to change much. Make sure you move the puck quickly and get traffic to the front of the net. Holds on and gets that whistle. He'd been focused on this milestone a little bit. He talked about wanting to achieve it as soon as possible. Now he's done it. It's dropped. They lock up, and that's a good job by the winger. Chicago's motoring ahead. Got it at the point. Drives it. Propelled to Anisimov. And sent down to Nash. Got that pass in his own end. Nicely received at the point. Chip to Suster. Gets a blocker on it. Save and a cover. Great pressure there, Doc. I thought for sure there was going to be a goal. Kane's had a fantastic year offensively. He has among the highest total points in the league. He gets to the front of the net, and he has an excellent shot. Good job on the draw. Vlasic's got it on his stick, trying to get it out of there. Shot. That puck hit him on the way to the net. Clears the zone. Skill play by Keith. Pitching this one to Taves. Driving in from no man's land. That puck's loose, defended away by Vlasic. Good place to shoot from. He's got possession. He's just got to get rid of it. And so that one is cleared, and they check the clock and get ready for more. Pass attempt to Taves. That puck's loose, not too well handled. The bench can switch now following that clear. The Hawks get the puck with just a few seconds left on their power play. Puck loose, couldn't get through. Onside. He takes that point pass. A point blast! He got his glove on that one. Offside, neutral zone faceoff coming in. I'd like to say that the shooter was shooting for a rebound, at least I hope he was, because that shot had no chance of going in. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. The Whalers have us back even after that penalty kill. Terrific determination by Rick Nash. And he steps across the line. Shot. Score! A ricochet. Looked like it went off a defender in front. Totally accidental. Totally legal. I don't like this goal from the goaltender's perspective. It's a well-delivered puck, quick and accurate. But the goalie's got to get a glove on that. Chicago's hammered home yet another goal. They've got a lot of shots, and now they've got goals to show for their effort. And the faceoff's won. Pitching it to Debrinkin. Let's it go. He missed the net. As the shooter was about to let it go, the puck just went on edge a second. That's why the puck missed the net badly. Big time move. Big drive! Oh, what a great chance, but it's off the iron. Great release, beat the goaltender, unfortunately, off the crossbar and into the crowd. Tough to stomach from a shooter's perspective. That was a perfect shot. The goaltender can't get to it, but you get nothing for it. Good offensive zone win. Couldn't get through, it's loose. The Blackhawks with possession in the neutral zone. Muscled off. 
Oh, great save there. Not much room to work, but he got a good shot away. Now that's a timely save. A beautiful one. Outstanding offense met by solid goaltending. Crawford's been sharp, Doc, but he really hasn't had much to do. Long periods of time between shots, and the offense has had time to put goals on the board. The puck's dropped, and that's a great job tying the man up on that faceoff. A shot. Oh, what a terrific save in close. Brings a shot. Just missed the net. Well, that's a good scoring chance. He's trying to be too fine, trying to pick the corner. Sometimes you've just got to shoot it at the middle of the net. And decides to just hold on and get a stop to play. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. Under seven minutes remaining in the second. So the scoring of that goal makes this a three-goal lead. Can they make it four, or will the pressure wilt them? The Whalers are skating it up at neutral ice. Chicago's got it in their own end, hoping for center. And he dumps it in. And now it's directed to Camilleri. He left it, but recollected it. Takes that pass. Here we go. He hangs on and gets the whistle. Chicago's been humming along offensively. Well, it's no wonder. Their player's been on such a significant point streak. Every game, it seems, he finds a way to create offense, whether he finishes the play himself or sets somebody else up. Back to the point. Puck three, roadblock by Vlasic. Gathered up again by Patrick Kane. Work with the stick, poked it right away. In with it now. Looking from the corner. From the outside. That puck struck him in front. On to Taves. Oh, he got that! The Whalers are at the wing in neutral ice. Take it away! in the second period. And he picks it up. Can start the attack going in the zone. Wow, what a move. And he is shooting. Outstanding body contact. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. 40 minutes have been played. Some hits given, some shots fired. But let's see what they have in mind as we get closer to the start of the third period and crunch time. Which one of your team players has Hartford suffering in net. Probably their whole team play needs to be re-examined during this intermission, but the goaltenders had a rough night. Here's an example as we go to break. Check our website out or call us here at the stadium. Two periods play, one period ahead. What are your thoughts so far, Eddie? Hartford's fallen behind on the scoreboard because they've turned the puck over and have had to chase the game. If they can tighten up their attack, they should be able to generate more chances. Slid to Bego. Using the point, he's got it. On the outside, a shot and a save. Took that draw and won it. Knocked off. Terrific determination by Kane. Nicely into the zone. Up to the point. Trying for it. Score! On the first day of the first month of a new year, goal number one.
Kane's able to get himself in position to one time that puck to the back of the net. The goalie's shaking his head. That's a spot on the net that the goalie never wants to be beaten at. He's already in the butterfly. If his glove stays right on his pad, he's going to be able to stop that. Chicago's goal has taken them to an even larger lead on a night that they have had the offense going. Third period of play. Scored by number 88. Leads that charge into the zone. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. He lifted the stick and picked his pocket. Directing that one to Ryan. The Whalers skated up on the side. Dogged determination there by Zebra. Shoot. Outstanding save. Oh, they had a great chance. And he puts the glove on it and stops playing. You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie says no chance. That's an excellent save. Off is one. Laid on to Kalorn. Gives it to the point. Rister from the slot. Pot loose. Couldn't get through. To Debrinkin. Carries through center on the wing. Carries it on in from center. Feeds the point. They can't find the target. That's a tough one to watch. Need to practice hitting the net. Great shooting lane. Terrific shot, but a great point blank save. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. Poke check. Collect it now. Up the wing and moving well. Gathered up by Duncan Keith. Chicago's got it through center ice. Side to side they go, trying to generate something. Wonderful stop. Passing one off now to Camilleri. Gives it over to the point. Didn't handle it very well. Free puck. Puck flipped into the bench and the whistle stops play. Always pretty cool to see people get excited when the puck is shot into the bench and they know that they're maybe going to be able to get their hands on it. They're all waving around hoping somebody flips it to them just over the glass. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. You win that, and you don't have to chase. They chase you. Good hand to eye, and the reach of the stick. Chicago's controlling play now through the neutral zone. Oh, broke it up. To ease. The Whalers just couldn't get it going here tonight. Really, what they needed was a field goal somewhere along the way. They got blown out right from the very beginning. It's dumped in. Solid work there by Demers. Snapping a pass to Eves. Fires. Oh, a close call there. He was hoping for a little bit more with that chance, but his shot is just off the target. Chicago's along the wing at center ice. Shoots one. That's a great save. Hartford's in their own end, hoping to make a play to center. Wouldn't let him buy. Forcing attention in deep. Smart recovery by Vlasic. Loose puck due to the play by Suster. Propelled to Saw. Trying to go to Kane. Brings it in for an attack. Collected by Taves. Shot! Terrific challenge. Outstanding save. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. Off and a solid tie up and help arrive. Good job. Puck sails over the glass and we get the whistle.
Chicago's got it off the draw at center. Right to the point. So we're into the last minute. All is academic here. Takes a shot. He scores! A New Year's baby in a hockey suit. Well, the team starts to play for the goalie when you have a shuttle this deep into the game. But eventually, they make a mistake, and the puck's in the net. Again by Vlasic. Plotting strategy from behind. May not have been intentional, but he got it anyway. Chip to Vlasic. Let's it go. Blocker save. 23 seconds to go. Gotta hurry. 20 to go. On to Debrinkin. A backhand shot. Had flashed out to turn that aside. Some contact there, and the puck is loose. And this New Year's Day game has ended. For one team, a great way to begin the calendar year, and for another, trying to forget. For one team, the New Year's resolution has already not come out too well because they lost this game today. For another, they have one in a row. For your New Year's resolution, make sure you go to the gym tomorrow because you said you would. Maybe not next week, but at least tomorrow. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying Happy New Year.